Hello, Buddha Ron here. Because of the poor lighting, this video will be an action video. I'll teach you the first exercise of uh, learning how to control our body. I will start with the concept called figure eights. Figure eights are uh, the natural way of moving most joints of the body. Like here you have this hand, you see here is the wrist, the wrist is a ball joint, you see you can move, you can move the hand around and around like this. You have mostly ball joints in the hand, in the, in the body, mostly ball joints. The fingers are not ball joints, uh, they are, they go mostly just two ways. Elbows go two ways and knees go two ways. Most of the rest of the joints in the body are ball joints. And the natural movement of ball joints is circular or figure eight. So the first exercise, uh, we're going to learn how to move our fingers, our hands, and our wrists. So the first exercise is you take your hand. I'm left-handed, but I'm going to use the right hand now. You should practice equally with both hands. Maybe even practice more with your weak hand. Uh, wouldn't it be cool be, to be become skillful in using both of your hands equally? It's called being ambidextrous. It's a skill everyone should want to have. I always wanted to have ambidextrous skills. When I was playing role-playing games, ambidexterity was one of the skills you could have. It was like everyone who everyone wanted to have it. So we're going to practice mobility training we're going to learn how to move the hand how to increase flexibility and sensitivity in the hand and we're going to increase the strength of the hand so how do we do this we simply first start to move the hand so here's the hand looks like this so everyone can hold the hand up like this can you spread out the fingers like this? Push your fingers back. Can you make a tiger claw? Can you make a leopard claw? Can you make a fist? Can you make a sistema fist? The reason why we hold the thumb on the top of the fist in Sistema is because we want to be able to hit with all sides of the hand. You see? You can hit with a, with a hammer fist, you can hit with a back fist, you can even hit on soft spots with the, with the, with the protruding thumb there. Not so good at hitting hard points like bones, but it's really good for hitting pressure points. And we can, of course, hit with the knuckles, which should be these three or these three, if you ask me. Other people may disagree. You can even open it up a little bit, and you can then you have your leopard fist there. And then you can hit with those ones, or these ones, which would be like a digging hit. In Sistema, hits doesn't have to be so hard. They are deep. It's the mass of the mass of the arm falling into the opponent, just enough force to break his structure or make him lose his breath or something like that. You don't need if you make a fist like this and try to hit yourself like uh, in the trachea or in the. You can try to relax, relax the arm and just let the arm fall into these different parts, and you will 
on, on the pressure points here where the two jaws connect. You can dig around a little bit until you feel some really good points behind the ear, temple. Of course, nose is great. But this is not a uh, video about uh, pressure points. This is a video about learning how to move your uh, move your hand. So let's go back to that. You can make all these different fists. If you want to play guitar, some people have problems playing guitar. They they they, they do something like like this, and then they cannot quite reach the the, the long the different the distance between the bars so what you do is you spread the fist out like that not out like this but out like that you like 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 you're grabbing a ball then you can widen the hand out quite a bit and yeah so you should be able to make tiger claw you should be able to move slowly when you learn how to move your fists. Can you like move one finger at a time? Can you, can you do like this? Like this? If you can't do this then you should practice it until you can. So now over to the natural. Now you can spread out, you can make a fist, you can do whatever. Now, the, the natural way to move the hand. When, this is a really great movement to learn because it's very good for self-defense. Like, you, you start to move your hand in a figure eight motion, leading with the thumb or leading with the little finger. We start leading with the thumb. So we make a figure eight with the thumb. Like you draw an eight. See? It's like a it's like a figure eight that's on on the side, like an infinity sign. What a coincidence. Gonna run into a lot of infinity signs. So now I was using the whole of my hand. You can isolate it and you can use you can move just just the wrists. You see, and you can, you can try to make it like a smooth movement. First, you can make little, little figure eights to warm up the joint. If you can't do this, you should really practice it until you can. If you can't use your own body to move and express yourself freely, then you're limiting yourself tremendously. Everyone can learn how to move the hand like this. There's really nothing to it except moving slowly, feeling, feeling the arm, and feeling the hand moving. And you can do it with the leading with the little finger. I can draw a figure eight with the little finger, and the rest of the hand just kind of follows. You can, you can make small movements first to warm up the joint and then you can make big movements where you max out how far you go back and then you go half a rotation and you max out how, how far you can go the other way and then you go the finish your rotation the other way and then when you do this you flick you increase the flexibility of the joint of the wrist and you increase the mobility of the wrist, of the of the hand, of the fingers of the hand, of the wrists. Like you, you're, you're teaching yourself how to move, and this is well, you can imagine. Could be a block this way. Could be a block this way. Could be a block this way or this way. Either way, it could also be a hit because. Okay, more about hits here. When you have the radius, the radius of the circle, like now I'm drawing a circle, and if you if you reduce the radius of the circle at the end, 
and you increase the velocity of the hand. And everyone who knows a little bit about physics knows that force is mass times speed. So if you increase the speed of the hand and relax it, it's very important that it's relaxed. Then you increase the speed and increase the force. So now we know how to teach ourselves how to move the hand. So once you know how to move like that with one hand, you, you, you do it with the other hand. When you know how to you do it with the other hand, you do it with both hands. Some people think it's easy to like mirror, do it like this. Do it slowly first until you get a nice good movement. Now I'm leading with the thumb. You can lead with to be able to lead with both the thumb and the little finger. You see? You can do cool stuff. You can learn how to dance with this. This is kinda like pie dancing. And then you can do it like they follow each other. You draw two figure eights at the same time. You can do this just with the wrists or you can engage the stroller a little bit and make it bigger. Okay, but those of you who want to try that out, even forward or backward, you can do it. It's not that much space here, so we'll just focus on the wrists. When you know how to do this relaxed and when you know how to do it like with full when you flex as much as you can, increase the flexibility as much as you can, then you can start working with tension. And how do you work with tension? You can open your hand as much as you can, you, you feel you, you tense the body like arm like, hand like that. You can Squeeze it as much as you can this way. Or you can open and close at the same time, which is something like this. See, I'm trying to open and close it at the same time. What I'm doing is I'm putting tension in the mus muscles, in the antagonistic muscles, both on the inside and the outside of the forearm. So I can, I can do this. And I can, I can make figure eights like with open and, and tension, with closed and tension, or with tiger, tiger claws and tension. Experiment with this by yourself. And it's not, you don't have to do this for a long time with tension before you really start to feel it in your forearms. In the, in the beginning you will feel it very very early on. What you're doing is you're, you're strengthening the muscles but also the tendons and the tendons are the important thing to stre strengthen. That's where the real power lies. So after you really feel it burning, another thing you can do if you want to feel it burn more is you can open and close them really fast. Or you can do it slowly while bringing a lot of tension into it. Now you heard me breathing. Of course, if you know anything about Sistema, if you've watched some of my other clips, you'll know that the breath should be linked with the intention. You are intending to move you are intending to breathe and let the breath guide your uh, your motion, your movement. So, if I wasn't talking all the time, it would be something like this. See, now I was all into it, and now I'm starting to remember to breathe and really feel 
the motion being led by the breath. It's really hard to do it while talking. This is the real trick. If you if you keep your intention on the breath and the movement and, and attention on the movement and some persistence, do it for some time, it will really increase your skillfulness in moving your body. And for the people with a little bit of intelligence, that's most of you, I hope. Uh, of course, you could do this with any part of your body. You could uh, do this figure eight with all the ball joints of your body. I'm going to uh, make more clips later if you ask me to. But of course you could you could do a figure eight with and with relaxation, with total like you use the whole range of motion leading with the back of the head like I did now or with the, with the with the with the cheek or with tension, like you tense your body and remember to breathe. So there. Now you just learned how to uh, increase your sensitivity and mobility of your whole body. Uh, and leading with the breath, um, strengthening your tendons and your muscles, and helping nutrition go into the cells and the ligaments and helping the toxins go out. There are so many benefits to these uh, exercises here. So I, I hope you will spend some time getting into these exercises, start exploring. Maybe you will uh, try to hold something in your hand while doing it. Maybe a rope, maybe a stick. There's so many variations. But take some time, take if you want my advice, uh, you should do a little bit every day, like 10 minutes every day or, or more. It all depends on how good you want to be at moving your own body. So, this is Ron, signing off. Om Namo Buddhaya. <laughs>